Welcome to our today's video, where we'll be looking at different logos of churches and their meanings. Number 1. Salvation Ministries under the leadership of Papa David Ibiyami. Salvation Ministries Home of Success was established the 13th of April 1997 with a divine mandate to establish the Kingdom of God here on Earth. Her global headquarters is currently at Plot 17 Barabi Street, no wonder the logo. Number 2. Dunami Center, also known as the Glory Dome under the leadership of Dr. Paul. On the logo you can see a fire coming down to quench the earth. This is seen in his services by how the presence of God comes down to heal and deliver through his servant. Their mandate is to nurture and disciple new converts and establish them in the faith to equip the saints for the work of the ministry, to help the saints get ready for the return of our Savior and Lord Jesus. Number 3. OFM of Apostle Johnson Sulman. As you can see, the logo shows fire and a dove, which represents the Holy Ghost at Pentecost. It says restoration manifestation and reality. You are my witness that indeed he is a restoration apostle, and he hungers to bring the word of God alive in reality. Number 4. The Redeemed Christian Church of God under the General Overseer. A giant in the faith Papa Enoch Attaboy, the simple logo. Yet heavy manifestation shows a dove coming down, which we believe represents the Holy Ghost. They have spread like a wildfire all over Nigeria and around the world. Number 5. Christ Embassy under the leadership of Pastor Chris Oyakilom, also known as your love world. Having watched Pastor Chris, you know he is an epitome of love. The logo and love world was prophesied by the late General Morris Trullo before he went to be with the Lord. Number 6. If you are a Holy Ghost-filled follower of God's general, you must have come across this logo of the Benny Hinn Ministries, which is symbolic of the Holy Ghost. Taking over the world by storm, this logo can be seen on most of his suits in his healing meetings. Number 7. United Family International Church under the leadership of Prophet Emmanuel Makondi was started in 2007 as a denomination that later became one of the largest congregations in Zimbabwe. If you watch the logo closely, you can tell that there are three people holding each other as a symbol of unity and family. Hence the name of the ministry. Number 8. Spirit Embassy, also known as the Good News Church. Under the senior prophet to the dispensation ambassador, Ubert Angel, this sacred emblem contains elements of key encounters with God of the highly esteemed prophet Obert Angel when he was summoned as a child under the wild custard tree. Number 9. Koinonia 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 meaning deep intimacy with God in the Greek. Their logo says intimacy partnership and fellowship and a dove as a symbol of the Holy Ghost. Headed by the great apostle of God Apostle Joshua Selman whom God H.A.S. used mightily to touch men of all diversities. His teachings have kept many in deep intimacy. Number 10. We will not be fair to talk revival without mentioning encounter. Jesus ministries under Apostle Michael, a revivalist and end-time fireflame to a generation. Their logo reads intimacy, transformation and dominion, and as seen Jesus is embracingly hugging you. And I to symbolize relationship and transformation by turning to the Father. Number 11. Winner's Chapel or the Living Faith Church under a man. With a heavy mandate Bishop David Oidebo. The logo looks simple but has deep meaning. The globe icon denotes that Living Faith Church is not restricted to one geographical location. The shield represents the word of faith message and its protective influence against the devil. Also, the top of the logo depicts a flame which signifies the effect of the work of the Holy Spirit to the commission to fulfill its purpose. Are there any other churches you would love us to research? And cover in part 2. Kindly comment the name of the church. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.